This video will review how to use a set of data to graph a scatter plot and find the residuals. The first thing you're going to need to do is create a new document. So we press 1 and 4 for lists and spreadsheet. And then we're going to enter our two sets of data. And for this, I'm going to use years, 1 through 6 and the salary of a teacher in Providence. So, and we had this data in class. Okay, so remember you want to make sure that it matches at the end. And we have all six data sets. And then instead of going back to our normal thing, what we're going to do is go to Menu. And we can go to Data and Quick Graph. Quick Graph will give you just half a graph, and it's going to look like this. Now you have your years on the bottom. So you'll use the arrow keys to move your mouse. And over here you press the circle and we're going to make that salary. So it graphs the data. Now, that's a very small graph. So if you want to see just an idea, that's good. But if you actually want to get a nice big graph, the way you do it is you go to home and you're going to scroll down to the bottom here and we are going to add data and statistics it's the one that looks like the bar graph to our document and here what we have to do is we have to enter both variables so we go to the bottom and we click and we're going to put years along the bottom and then we're going to go to the side and put salary along the side. So now we have a big graph. And now what we want to do is put our line of best fit on this graph. But before that, we want to fix our window. So we're going to go menu 5, window, and 1, which means we can set our own window. And I want it to go 0 to 7. And then I want it to go from 35,000 to 55,000. Okay. So now it looks standard and the numbers are nice and even. Now I'm going to go back to menu. So menu and 4 for analyze, 6 for regression, and then number 1. So that's 4, 6, 1. We'll draw our line. And now you'll notice here are the dots above the line. Here it's on the line. Here it's below. Here it's on the line again, and here it's above. So the thing we're going to do that will show that more clearly is our residual plot. And to get that, we go Menu, Analyze, Residuals, Show Residual Plot. And you'll see this nice residual plot. And remember, the residual is the point value minus the estimated value. So that's the actual value minus what the line says. So here it's 860, here it's negative 84, then here it's negative 761, negative 829, negative 22, and then 836. And we'll see that with different shapes in the residual plots, it means different things about our line of best fit and if it's a good fit or not. And if you want to go back to the table, the way you do that is control left. It'll take you back here to your table with the first graph we made. And if you want the bigger graph, you go control right, and you can see the new graph with the residual plot.